right. Hi! Welcome well, back. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Peter and Naglish Guitars, and we're in EMB Studios as per usual. And we have a special treat for you today. Oh dear, yes, do we have. <laughs> um, special in, in, in double, double sense. Yeah. That is something special, and it's called the Red Special. The Red Special. <laughs> and uh, yes, it is red. It is red. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of special, yeah. And this is your absolute latest uh, creation. Yep. Um, fresh out of the workshop. Fresh out of the, uh, the wood, wood, woodpecker shop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, I mean, the shape and the form needs no further If, if you know anything about guitars, you yeah. recognize yeah. what this is. Uh, so you, you built your own Brian May guitar. Yeah. Just because you can. And want yeah. to. And want to. <laughs> and why it's did long, you want to... It's, I mean, it's, it's I mean, a long story, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first learned uh, to build guitars, I got a book uh, by a guy called Melvin Hiscock. And Brian May wrote the foreword to that book about okay. building guitars. Mm. And that's because that, the original for this Red Special was built by Brian May and his father uh, way before the Queen years, when, he, when Brian May was like 17 years old. They couldn't afford a guitar. Mm -hmm. So they set out to build a guitar. And now with YouTube and internet and everything, you have a lot of knowledge. You can actually learn what you need to learn online. Mm. Uh, when I started, there was no such thing as internet. No. We learned it from a book. Yeah. Uh, Brian May and his father didn't have that book. <laughs> no. <clears throat> so they had to just had to go for figure a, out figure. how to do it themselves yeah. from start. So that's an amazing story, and, and that's why that guitar has a special significance for me. Yeah. And then I love Queen. Yeah, of course. Who, who, who doesn't? <laughs> I mean, it's a terrific man. So there's tons of uh, info to talk uh, about regarding this guitar, uh, and you you did this, you you custom built this yourself, mm -hmm. just as uh, Brian May and his mm -hmm. father. But mm -hmm. you, I mean, you have some, you have some more cool tools than they have, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah. from from that time. Yeah. Um, and you did some you did some your own little tweaks, um, S some slight modifications, yeah? um, to it. Yeah. And uh, and also. Um, uh, uh, what I'm curious about, the like the the pick guard, yep. is that? Yeah, I mean, did you cut that out yourself? Just then? I cheated out. Uh, I got a set of mm. parts uh, mm. from one of the online suppliers. All right, uh, and that was the the pick guard, uh, mm. all the plastic parts actually. Okay, and uh, also it's a very special kind of uh, tremolo. Mm -hmm. and bridge. So I got that as a set uh, together right. with the, the knobs for the, knobs, for, okay. for the uh, volume control and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and also too, there's some odd stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. So there was some uh, part of that included. The pickups, are they? They are, um, originally on, on Brian May's guitar, they were just called tr Burns Trisonics. Mm -hmm. These are uh, the Burns Trisonic Brian May signature mm. pickups. That's mm. a mouthful to say, but it mm. should be, uh, according to, to the manufacturer, that the same kind of pickups that is yeah. in, in Brian May's guitar. The neck, you modified the neck? Yeah, th there's a great story about the neck on the original. Mm. It's extremely thick. All right. Extremely thick. And the story goes that Brian and his father went to a guitar store and asked if they can take measurements from a guitar, mm. and they were allowed to do that, so they measured the thickness of the neck, so they went home, made the neck, and then added the fretboard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it's like super thick. So it's thick. half a centimeter oh, thicker almost, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, oh. okay. yeah, but he liked it. He, that I mean, fits him. It fits him, yeah. It doesn't fit me, so I, I made no. uh, some modification apart from that. I've kept to the original design, mm -hmm. and we might talk about that later, but you, you yeah. need to play a bit first uh, uh, for the body and neck and so on. But uh, I think we need to hear, hear you play a right. bit more. Yeah, I have uh, some questions as well. Uh, absolutely. Um, 
<coughs> there's some pretty classic things, you know, like you, you got to try this, you know. Um, Something like that, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, it's a uh, it's classic. Talking queen. about classic, yeah, yeah yes. definitely. Uh, uh, when you look at this neck, I immediately saw the the zero fret, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that that's uh, original? Uh, that's yeah, from, and, from and, and why would you? I mean, why would you do that? If you have a traditional nut, it's softer than the metal in the fret, mm. and it gives an, the open string a different sound, mm. and. With a zero fret, you, you have the same sound on the open string and the fretted string. So that's... But that was how they made it. That's how they made it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a, a nice weight on it. It's very light. Yeah. It's, it's uh, quite hollowed out. The neck, uh, is that ebony as the original or did you do something the, the original on on brian Mesker, it's, uh. it's actually painted oak painted oak <laughs> yeah it's black painted oak all right uh, so no this is my uh, new favorite mm. it's rock light rock light yeah the man-made okay. wood okay again again yeah. <laughs> but you you like it i yeah. mean the feel it, it, and it's consistent yeah it looks great um uh, it sounds great and it doesn't uh, affect uh, any uh, jungles. It doesn't need any jungles to be cut down to, to, to harvest it. And that's a good thing. Yeah. I, I have one more riff. Um, I'm not, I mean, I love Queen. I, I've listened to Queen all my life and stuff, but well, just never ended up in a situation or like in a band where, where, where anyone wanted to play Queen. And uh, I think that's, the, uh, there's a reason. It's not because the songs are, are, are bad or, or anything. It's just because uh, it's really hard to find a singer who can who can <laughs> who can do. <laughs> I mean, a Queen tribute. You, that you need to be a hell of a singer to to yeah. be able to. That's I mean, and fill them shoes. It's uh, I, I, for me. Freddie Mercury was probably. I mean, one of the Fantastic. best singers ever. And and and. Adam Lambert does a good job filling, trying to fill those shoes, but mm. it's um, uh, still. I, I, it's I not don't, the I same. I mean, I, I wouldn't it's want, uh, yeah, vibrato I, I, and and, and I, do, I don't want approach. to. I wouldn't want to have his job. He he went too too quick, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh. As many others, uh, I mean, there's so many great artists that yeah. that really left us too too soon. Too soon. I mean, the, the, the 27th club. Yeah. That's yeah. a famous club. You oh, know? yeah, that the, one, yeah, as well. That's Jimmy crazy. He, Jimmy yeah. Hendrix, Jim Kurt Morrison, Cobain. Kurt Cobain, yeah. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm forgetting a couple of them. Yeah, there's, there's so many. Yeah. But... Now I'm playing this in the wrong settings. Uh, what was it? It's, it's a very complicated. Uh, Is it this one? Electronics. Yeah. Try okay. That. Try that. And, and we can hear the difference. Yeah, there's a big difference. It's in a huge difference in sound. I had I had one when you when you arrived. I said, um, let's play this one. What was it?
cool guitar, man. Yeah. It's a cool songs and cool guitar, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Should we talk about the, the, the pickup system that I Brian so. created with his father? Mm. Maybe we could yeah. have it for, for, the, for the camera. For the camera? Uh, like for this. The viewers? Uh, no. Three pickups. You mm. usually have some kind of switch or something. You can mm. choose one or two of these pickups in any configuration. Mm. This has tr three switches. That is just on off switches for each pickup. Mm. So we can have one pickup, two pickup, three pickup in every combination. Yeah. On top of that, there's a face switch for every pickup. And that mm. was the one we, Michael, uh, changed. Mm. Uh, when doing uh, another one bites the dust riff, yeah. uh, just to show the, how much that affects the sound. So any of these can be uh, put out of phase. Put, or, put out uh, of phase. Yeah. So that's a lot of different sounds. Mm. The funny thing is, Brian May says he uses this sound for 80% of his songs. Okay, yeah. It's the first. But I think the, that's the, that's too, the too thing, brightest. you know, you, you find your yeah. position and then you just don't want to really, you know, yeah. mess around with it because it works yeah. Yeah. and it feels good. Yeah. And that, you know, I, I can uh, I can relate when, when, I, when I play because it, it gives a, a fat, nice tone yeah. and uh, yeah. so I understand why, you know. With a bite. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's really. typical uh, Brian May. Yeah. a little fussy in a way or maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just hearing it wrong but it feels like it's very uh, singing sound anyway I, I feel there's a little bit of uh, the, the tone it's very Brian Mage but also can you can you, I'm thinking about guitarists, well, he's, it's, it's pretty close to that type of sound. Johnson type oh, of okay yeah yeah Different, so yeah, I, no. I get it. Yeah, yeah, no. but because he like this, uh, he has this kind of very muddy mm -hmm. kind of tone, you know. He, he, Fat. Some sound. some guitarists you can really hear, you know, they like mm -hmm. this brighten, but he like this warm, yeah. really, you know. And it's the same mm -hmm. with Brian May. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. it's, it's a warm, more warm. Um, very fat uh, sound. Uh, yeah, yeah, approach yeah. to sound yeah. and stuff. I like that as well because I think it's. When you when you listen to guitarists with that, and it's the same with the, pretty much the same with like Bonamassa and these yeah. guys and stuff. Yeah. But I just like it how it cuts through and how it gives you. It it, it never gets too. Um, you don't you know, get this ear pain. No, from exactly. To it. Yeah, it's, it's so, not like what's it called uh, Albert King. Yeah, 
That's this ear piercing yeah, it's, twang. It just, it's just cuts sound. right through. It, it's I mean, fine for some yeah, things. Absolutely, mm. but I just in the long run, I just like I like this kind of sound where we you can it's, just you it's can go on for a, smoother. I could, um, but I but if, you, if you like fat note hmm? tones, hmm? try all pickups on at the same time. Switch on the neck pickup too. So that's it, yeah. That's how, how we guitarists look like when we hear something. We like it very much. <laughs> Yeah, but it's uh, it's a nice. Uh, I, I like the feel of it. Yeah. Uh, I like the the way uh, it hangs in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talked about this last time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the, the the way that you don't really have to struggle with the. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I get the same kind of feeling here. Yeah. Um, and that's so yeah. lovely. You yeah. know. You shouldn't have to fight your instrument. No, 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 no. That's like what BB King told Billy Gibbons. Mm -hmm. You heard that story? No. Uh, what was that? Billy Gibbons from CC Top. He had kind of these thick strings on his guitar because mm. he's here for ah. You need to have thick strings mm. to have good sound. And BB mm. King just said, "Boy, you're struggling too much." Yeah. <laughs> and he went the complete other way. Yeah, Billy so now, Gibbons. Now he has the like, super thin super strings. Oh sevens. And on a Gibson. Yeah. I mean that is crazy. Yeah. So it's like you I, I, don't, I don't believe I could play no, I don't think these so. guitars. I, I, I may, maybe get used to it, I don't know. No. But I mean, you see people going like, <coughs> almost like... <laughs> and you see like, oh, you don't really have to like... I'm, I'm barely like nope. touching it. Nope. It's just nope. like, I'm just nope. trying to, and it, it, it feels like it yeah. wor it's working, yeah. you know? It's so easy. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, man. One part is, is this uh, rock light fretboard. It gives you a very nice response. That's why I love them. Mm. And uh, maybe I need a, a, a fretboard with that, Peter. Yeah, maybe. Or uh, Peter, I need a fretboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's more clear. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah. This is um, the exact same specs as in woodwork and stuff, right? Ye yeah. more, more or less. Mm. Uh, this. Uh, no, well, not the, of not, course. Not the fretboard. Not, not the fretboard. Um, no. The neck is mahogany. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really huge neck. It goes all the way here, Are actually. Are kidding me? So it's wow. a really strange construction. Mm -hmm. and, so and it's glued down here? No, it's... it's and a, bolted down, no? It's just two. I, 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 I chickened out. The original has one, <laughs> one single bolt mm -hmm. to oh, keep yeah. the neck in place. Uh -huh. One single bolt. I chicken I had two. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, mm. If you turn around, you can see actually. So it's, the original has just one bolt here, mm -hmm. and the 
the, the key to that is the long neck uh, okay, okay. tenon okay. inside yeah. to keep it in place. Mm. Uh, but the original has something called block wood. This okay. cheap, cheap wood that you build cabinets like uh, uh, kitchen cabinets from. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, and that's not possible to find in Sweden. All right. Uh, so I use this. It's it's just uh, uh, fur, mm -hmm. uh, fur wood. So I, um, uh, I use that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and. But, but the center part, yeah. that's oak. Two different pieces of oak uh -huh. uh, that, that uh, Interesting. is carved in a very strange way. All right. <laughs> but I mean, oak in a guitar, how often do you hear that? It's not common. No? It's not common also. No, no, no. I mean, the original was built for a reason. Yeah. And it was because they couldn't afford it. And then they, they yeah. so I mean, it's not because it's perfect, but no. I mean, it works for him. And, and uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, it works very well. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I probably spent way much more money mm -hmm. on this replica for this tremolo and this mm -hmm. bridge and etc. than Brian May and his father did because no. they did it because they couldn't afford no, exactly. off-the-shelf stuff or that mm. wasn't available. Mm. So I paid a lot more on just the tremolo and the bridge. But uh, you, you made you, you you did your research and stuff. What yep. was there? I mean, what was his, when you build a guitar, I mean, mm. there must be like, ah, well, I like this kind of guitar, I yeah. want this. What was his preference? Uh, uh, he really, I th believe he wanted a, a, a Fender Stratocaster like the Shadows. Hank okay. Marvin was one of his uh -huh. uh, prime idols. Because I think it's more like a, it would be it, more it, like it, a Gibson it, it, Junior yeah, or whatever, it, or something. But but visually, uh, yeah. it should. It was meant to look like a ES three uh, three five. Oh, okay. It's a little bit. If you scale it up a little bit, mm -hmm. you can see that. Mm, yeah, it kind of has that feeling. Mm -hmm. All right. But they must have seen the the flying V guitars for the head, I think. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, mean, they they took some parts from. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. But it's it's uh, it's pretty cool anyway. That, I mean that they and then he played that guitar for still still it yeah still does. yeah. There is actually if if you want to really know a lot of stuff from him, there is on YouTube available a uh, Starlicks video. Mm -hmm. It's from the eighties or something like that. Okay, uh, because he uses chorus on everything, so you know it's from the eighties. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, but he explained a lot of things and talked for almost an hour about his sound and his licks and everything. So it's available on YouTube. Go okay. check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely gonna check it out when I when I'm done with this. Have we heard what we want to hear? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think we covered most of it. Yep. Um, and this is available in uh, any color you want, <laughs> any color you like, with any neck you like, and with any specs you like. Yep. Uh, just uh, give uh, Peter a, a ring. As long as it's not the same as those guitars available from Brian May Guitars, because then it will be a rip-off, and we don't do rip-offs. No, no, no. This is, uh, this is a custom-made, yep. yep. you know, uh, hang in tight. We yeah. will uh, have a really cool uh, episode next time. A double uh, feature. Double feature and uh, and uh, uh, hopefully some more cool licks and uh, and some great sound. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, demonstrating this. I must say it was really cool. I enjoyed it and um, and. Uh, Congratulations <laughs> for a, a well-built <laughs> and you. nice guitar. Thank you. Um, I'm uh, Michael. I'm uh, Peter. And uh, we will see you again soon. Take care, everyone. See you. Bye. <laughs>